Hi guys, I'm here today to talk you through my April favourites and my number one April favourite, which I'm sure you can all guess, is getting married because I got married four days ago on Saturday. Miss M and I had a very, very small ceremony, i.e. tiny. Um, we just went down to the Soho Room at Old Marlebone Town Hall and then we signed some papers and went to Dishoom, which is our favourite restaurant, and ate our body weight in excellent Indian food. It was a really, really lovely day. Um, I haven't changed my name in case any of you are wondering. I'm also not wearing a ring. I find it difficult to wear rings because of having ectodactyly, but also we weren't that keen on getting rings anyway. We've just been together for nearly 13 years now, so we decided it was about time to get married because, you know, it's a nice thing to do. So we went and did it and it was all very chilled and lovely and lots of you have been asking what I ended up wearing because I mentioned last week that I wasn't sure what I was going to wear. So I picked up, let me show you, it's going to be hard to hold up but I will show you a cutaway in a minute of me wearing it. I picked up this play suit, excellently modelled here, this play suit from Warehouse for £59 and then I picked up these shoes from New Look, which are mustard yellow, which I'm loving this colour at the moment, it's everywhere. This mustard yellow suede, and these were £30. And then I also wore, excuse me, this bag, which I bought from Accessorize about seven years ago, maybe even longer, but I like the way that it looked with the blue and the yellow, so that is what I wore. <laughs> It was a very lovely day. Speaking of weddings, I got this wedding gift from Simon. He's very naughty, I love him for it. When we had the booktuber meetup earlier this month, which is also a favorite, that was lovely. Spending a Saturday with some of my favorite people going around bookshops, excellent stuff. We found, what Lola? Are you sad because you're not in it? You can come and say hello if you want. People always like it when you do that. Come here, come on. Is that better, what's up? What is it? I think she just wanted a cuddle. Is that better? Can I get on with filming now? Okay, so as I was saying before Lola interrupted us, we stumbled across these mugs in Tiger, which I absolutely fell in love with. They're huge, which is my favorite kind of mug. I've got a piece of paper in it. Uh, my favorite kind of mug um, because you can fit so much in it, but also the tea cools quicker because it's got a wider surface area. But I didn't buy any because I was being good and Simon didn't buy any because he was being good but then he woke up the next day regretting having not bought them so he went and bought himself some and I then mocked him for buying them because we both have a lot of mugs so to get his revenge as well as getting me a present he bought me two of these mugs for, get <laughs> for getting married. Thank you, Simon. Last week I was sent a galley, so a proof of my new book, which is Franklin and Luna Go to the Moon. It's coming out in September. It's illustrated beautifully by Katie Harnett, published by Thames and Hudson, and it's a sequel to my first children's picture book, Franklin's Flying Bookshop, which came out last September. In this book, Franklin and Luna are reading all about magical creatures and where they live. And Luna asks Franklin where dragons live, but Franklin can't remember. And dragons, asks Luna, where do they hide? I don't remember, Franklin says. I haven't seen any others. I've been searching a while. I'm 605. But what about your family? What's their address? Franklin pauses for thought. He scratches his head. I've got a third cousin who lives in Loch Ness. I've been sending her letters with little success. Luna suggests that they go on an adventure to search for Franklin's family and explore the world together. And that's exactly what they do. This picture book, along with the first picture book, is aimed at children aged about three to seven, but definitely suitable for kids either side of that age bracket, as well as adults who love picture books too. The paperback of Franklin's Flying Bookshop is coming out in August and will retail at $6.99. I'm not sure what that will be in dollars, etc., but I will leave links in the description box down below if I can find them. I'm not sure it's available for pre-order yet. Um, and the hardback, of this, or shall I say the finished version of this, will be a hardback. Um, and as I said, it's out in September, the 20th of September, and all of this will be in foiling, as with Franklin's Flying Bookshop, which was copper foiling, this will have light gold foiling. It was gonna be silver, but the silver didn't really show up against the blue background. So, some other favorites, some TV and film favorites. I did mention it in my last favorites, but I'm gonna mention it here because it's been continuing on TV and it's just finished, and that is The Assassination of Gianni Versace, which stars Darren Criss. 
I thought it was phenomenal. It is the latest American, I always want to say horror stories, the American crime stories. And I really like the way that they told it going back in time in each episode following his past and what led him to murder Versace. I thought it was superbly done and if you haven't checked it out, I really, really recommend that you do. Another TV favourite for me has been the latest series of Homeland. I have watched every season and I thought it started off really strongly and then lost its way a little bit, became a little bit tropey and I've definitely enjoyed it more since it's been focusing more on Ooh, knocking my notebook there since it's been focusing more on US politics rather than worldwide politics and I, th I think sometimes when it did that it was a bit I don't know it wasn't it wasn't always so great but this recent series I thought was fantastic and um, so if maybe like me you had lost faith in Homeland a little while ago I would recommend giving it another try I believe that the next season will be the last and final season and a film favorite for me this month was Avengers Infinity War which I'm sure is going to be on lots of people's lists I didn't like it's not my favorite film of the year it's just my favorite film of the month I thought it was a lot of fun and when they have so many characters the storyline is never that great, but I like watching the characters interacting with each other and I think I get a little bit of like intertextuality thrill. That's what I get. Um, I just like references, cross-referencing. I enjoy it. So I thought it was a lot of fun, but as I said, not my favorite film of the year. Black Panther was definitely better in my opinion, but still well worth seeing. Looking at my list, I realized that I forgot a TV favorite, which is Lost in Space, which is on Netflix. It's a remake of a TV show that was made in the 70s or 80s. There was also a film made late 90s, early 2000s with Matt LeBlanc and Gary Oldman, which was kind of trashy, but I have a soft spot for it. And that's kind of how I feel about this new series. It's not the best thing ever, but it's one of those feel good things. And I also haven't watched a film or a TV show about a family in quite a long time, which was really refreshing. Um, the first episode, I wasn't sure about, and neither was Mr. M. I think it was one of those times where you're watching actors be together who aren't used to being around each other yet and it was a little clunky but after the first episode we were absolutely hooked so that is another recommendation for me I should say what it's about it is about the planet being destroyed and us leaving earth to go somewhere else um, and there are lots of these pods that are attached to one spaceship and this spaceship gets attacked and all of the pods have to flee and this one family, the Robinson family, are in a pod and they crash land on this planet which very conveniently has breathable air <laughs> um, and they have to decide how they're going to survive and the main character is Toby Stevens who is my favourite Mr Rochester ever. If you haven't seen the BBC adaptation of Jane Eyre, go watch that before you watch anything else that I have mentioned in this video today. A couple of random favourites. The first one is this one here, which is the Wiki Magic Muscles Massage Bar from Lush, which aside from being a mouthful, smells divine. It smells of peppercorn and peppermint and basically just smells really fresh and a bit spicy. Um, I have this because Lush gave me a free spa treatment because I did an event with them just before Christmas. And when I went, they asked me which massage bar they wanted, I wanted them to use. And I picked that one, I smelt them all and I preferred this one. And afterwards they gave me another massage bar to take home. Now, as you know, my joints are not the best, especially in my hands. And having this when I am massaging my joints and my um, neuroma, I have a little neuroma in my hand, which is a non-cancerous tumour that grows on the end of a nerve and is really quite painful. So using this when I'm massaging my hands has been really really great. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate now because I'll just get really greasy hands but you just rub it between your palms and it turns into like an oil. So that has been lovely to use. Another random favourite are the biscuits that were in this tin but are no longer in this tin because I have definitely and absolutely eaten them. I will insert a picture of what they look like here. One of my favourite parts of the Women's Prize for Fiction is that they partner up with Biscuitiers Biscuits and Notting Hill and they make shortlist the shortlisted books into biscuits and they are delicious and also beautiful and um, so I'm going to link Biscuitiers in the description box down below. I've used them before for extra special birthday gifts. They are quite expensive but if you're looking for something really lovely to send to someone they send beautiful tins of biscuits so definitely check them out if that's something that you're interested in. But yes I very much enjoyed eating all of the biscuits that were very kindly sent to me by the Women's Prize. I had mentioned in a video a few weeks ago that I wasn't going to be reading the Women's Prize shortlist this year because I'm judging both the Ford Prizes for Poetry and the Somerset Mom Award and something had to give. However, I have just been offered some freelance work reviewing the shortlisted books 
not on this channel like written review form but because I am reading them therefore to review them in the written format that I have been commissioned to do I will also be talking about the books in a wrap up at some point soon so I thought I would mention that along with these yummy biscuits which sadly are no more. Another random favourite if you're wondering what married life is like it looks like this tea and triominoes they're really only on sunday because we went back to work yesterday but triominoes is my new favorite board game it's like dominoes but each piece has three sides instead of two so therefore it's much more difficult to play it boggles your mind slightly when there are lots of pieces on the board and you're trying to work out where you can play you also get extra points for forming certain shapes so if you're into board games and you like numbers then maybe this one is for you i'll link it down below second to last favorite summer dresses, specifically midi summer dresses. Now I didn't have any midi or maxi dresses, stay, I didn't have any midi or maxi dresses in my cupboard because I'm not, I'm not really short, but I'm five foot five and I find that if I wear really long things, it tends to swamp me. But these midi dresses I think are very nice and I think that they suit me, hopefully. So these are all from New Look and they were 19 99 each and I'll link them down below if I can find them. Um, this one I think is really really cute, it's this blue flowered print, I'll insert a picture here of me wearing it. These are exactly the same cut, they're just in different colours. So I picked it up in this dusty pink and this white, which I think will be really handy when the sun decides to come back out again. It was spring slash summer for one weekend, just in time for Lauren, poor Lauren to run her London marathon. The sun came out and it was really hot and now it's not hot anymore. Another favourite, Lauren running the marathon, that was amazing and if you haven't followed her journey she's been making these running vlogs. I will link them in the description box down below and if you can still donate I'll also link her don donate page down below. She was running for Refuge which is an amazing charity that supports women who have suffered domestic violence. My final favourite are two poems by Liz Berry who I adore. These were published over at The Compass. I have made a video talking about her poem The Republic of Motherhood which I'll link in the description box down below and I'll also link her collection Black Country. She's recently been writing these poems about motherhood and they incorporate this brutal honesty and fairy tale and they are amazing. So she has two published called Sky Birth and Yellow Wallpaper. The latter takes inspiration from Charlotte Perkins Gilman um, and I just go read them. They are just absolutely beautiful. So those are all the things that I wanted to talk about today. I hope that you guys are having a great week. Let me know in the comments section what you have been loving recently. I will speak to you guys very soon. Lots of bookish love.